Hello everyone. Today we are going to see the model builder feature of Infrabox 2024. Model builder feature is located over here in the starting interface and I just click over here and this is what I get. Model builder helps me in creating the complete model of my site wherever it is located. I have a restriction of around 200 square kilometers. Up to that point I can take the area of interest from here. I can select the any portion of as my area of interest. I have three methods over here for uh, creating the model or the giving the uh, you know uh, location of the model and the size of the model. First thing is by viewport map extent. So whatever is open over here it will become my model. This is the first part. Second part is draw a rectangle. So for if I select this rectangle part and I draw over here this will become my or area of interest and this will be the captured data. However, I have a limit of 200 square kilometers. So until unless I go for 200 square kilometers, this orange sign will not go, right? So maybe I'll just reduce the size over here and you can see how it is getting, how it changes from orange to proper color. Just a minute. I'll just reduce the size. So now this orange was. This is one method. Next method is a very good method. That is a polygon method. Very, very important when I have huge stretches of infrastructure projects like roads, railways. They go on for kilometers. So while capturing that, I need to be sure whether the data is getting captured. For example, this is the network which I want to add upon. I can just click over here and add it. Even though this data might, uh, though if I select the whole rectangle over it, it might be more than 200 square kilometers. So maybe using this polygon method will help me ca capturing data at a longer stretches. Right? This is one method. Another method which I would like to share with you is the shape file method or importing a polygon method. This is a very very good method, very effective method. I can go for the shape file from here, especially. So when I'm selecting a shape file, make sure that you're selecting the PRJ file also with it and just click it open. Once I do this, this whole area of interest, whichever was there in the shape file, which come down over here. And this will be the exact location. I don't have to search the location over here or I don't want to, you know, go to the precise location by searching it or by selecting it manually. The shape file will do the work. It will just go and capture that particular area of interest, which was marked in the shape file. I just have to give a proper name over here. Select the proper coordinate system. I can just go over here and just type LL84. And my model will be created once I click on the create model. You have to be very sure here regarding the coordinate system because once it is given, it cannot be changed. Right? This is a simple method of creating a model using the model builder. I'll just show you how when I select this area of interest how my model appears you can see over here this is the model with shape file which we had selected earlier i can see over here the contours i can see the road of the length end of the road whatever i have selected right and plus the image is also there if there are any other roads or water bodies or any other you know uh, significant structures they all will come along with it so this model builder is a very very helpful tool for us Thank you. Next time we have a different uh, learning material. Thank you so much.